guys, it's Bridget, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a back walkover. Okay, so for a back walkover, you're probably going to want to have a back bend and a kickover. Okay, so to start off, you're going to do back bend, pause, kickover. Okay, so for the backwards walk over yourself, you may need a little bit of help from your parents or your friends or whoever's around. So as you guys just saw, my dad had one hand on my back and one hand on my leg. And what he did was as I went back, he pushed my legs over just for a little bit of like support. So you may need some help from your spotter for a couple of times, but that's totally okay. Once you feel confident and that you can do it, you want to try your back walk over by yourself. Okay, so now that you've got your two foot back walk over, you're going to try and do a one foot back walk over. Now this is kind of scary, but it's the exactly the same. And if you're a little bit scared and you need a little bit of help, all your spotter has to do is the exact same thing, only this time with one foot. <laughs> now once you feel comfortable with that, you're going to try and do a back walk over on one leg without your spotter. Okay, so now I'm going to give you guys some tips for your back walk over. So the first tip is, when you're going back, to have your arms up and follow your arms all the way back. Now another tip is, once you get into bridge, it's always good to already have your leg up in the air. This makes it easier for you to like kick over. And my last tip is when you're going back into bridge to have a bent leg, I just find that's way easier, but if you don't find that comfortable, you don't have to do it. So that's it for this video. If you guys want more tutorials, give it a big thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I have to say, so bye.